like, I think I can't. This requires a system. <laughs> Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm B1, your host, and today I'm over at my buddy Mikey's house, and he has got a very special truck here. This is a 2008, right? Right. 2008, 2500 two-wheel drive Dodge. It's got the badges deleted, but it is a short bed. It's the version of the extended cab with the short back door uh which everybody knows very well this is mikey what's up mikey how we doing man oh we're doing good so this is not your typical six seven cummins right that's right what do we got going on here this is this is one of a kind right and i know it it says six seven on the top but it is not a six seven it is a 7.5 liter cummins it has been deleted. It has the head studs in it. It has the fire rings around the uh, on the head. Um, has the H and S air intake horn, um, AFE air intake, um, the H and S um, air in or the uh, cold side four inch tube. Cold air intake. Cold, yeah. Oh, the, the four, four inch, inch tube, tube down there. Okay. Four inch tube. Um, it does have stock injector and has a stock CP3. On the trans side, it has a South Bend clutch um, on it. Um, I do run an EFI Live uh, programmer or tuner, mm -hmm. and the Edge Insight um, just a gauge. Okay. Um, so, one of the things that caught my attention when we were talking about this truck was, for one, the 7.5 liter diesel i've never even heard of one of those before and i had the paperwork on it he does have the paperwork to back it up do you have a you have a copy of that I we do. can I yeah do. Grab it real okay one of the other things that's very unique about this truck is the mileage that he's able to get out of this motor do you can you recall what the stock mileage was before you started tweaking I, it i do not know or remember what the stock mileage was um, it's, it had been so long ago. Because you bought this truck brand new, right? I, bought, I am one owner of this truck, and uh, I do not know what I do not remember what it was. I couldn't tell you. But I had gone to uh, South Plains Cummins out of San Antonio, and we had pulled the documentation up on this, and it's an I, ISB 7.5 liter Cummins. 7.5. Right. But, The, probably too close. 7.5 Cummins. It was built in February 26th of 2008. And I bought it in September 27 of uh, 2008. So that is, that's more or less the build sheet, I guess, of the motor. Of the motor. Yes. With all the codes and VINs and whatnot. Vins. That's correct. Um, well, okay, so whatever the stock mileage is on a 6.7 2008 version would be, I don't know, eight, probably eight, eight. 16, 18, 20, somewhere in there, maybe? That's right. Um, okay. I would think. Um, and on go this ahead. Here, on this here, we're doing um, 26 to 30 miles per gallon. 26 to 30 miles per gallon. 
That's right. He didn't stutter, folks. And and you were able to achieve that. You said the main one of the main reasons is the porting and polishing, right? Of the, the port, head. The porting, the porting and the polishing of the head, and the fire rings. Um, and the fire rings. And the other thing is the air dog that's underneath it. I had the 165 air dog with a sump, uh, bean sump. I saw that. And um, it has the 342 gears in the rear end. 342s. 342s. Oh, so that's probably a big reason too, huh? It's got that, got that gearing. So I wanted to talk about the cost of some of this stuff. And the, uh, you want about your two-piece two exhaust piece, manifold? Two-piece exhaust manifold and the silver bullet came together. Oh, they did. They did from industrial injection. And I believe it was around two, maybe 2200. Um, the polishing porting of the head right. and the fire rings. It's unfortunate that we can't see any of that. I know, because it really, was really pretty. Was it? Oh yeah, it was really shiny as a, as a, as a, a, as a, as a uh, shiny as a diamond. <laughs> Isn't diamond. that a song? <laughs> and uh, um, I think I think it was around 3,500. 3,500. What about head studs? Head studs, uh, I believe the ARPs and maybe seven eight hundred dollars for for the head studs um so and that's installed that's in no that's just a stud. that's just the studs that's just a stud that's not installed uh, installing it varies um 80 bucks an hour to 100 bucks an hour how, how much of this this performance stuff did you do yourself i had most of it done for me did you i did uh, and uh, is this the stock intercooler and, stock and intercooler radiator and radiator um, it does have a PPE fuel rail plug also in it. Um, if you Dodge guys out there uh, don't know what that fuel rail plug, it will it will save your life by getting rid of that factory fuel rail plug. But yeah, how, how much money do you have invested in in the in the parts, performance parts, and, and install? You know, I'm talking about everything, kit and caboodle. Eleven grand. Eleven. Eleven. Grand. Eleven in in the motor and, and yes. stuff that associated with the motor. It's associated with the motor. Yep. And do you think? that this can be achieved the mileage that you are cranking out of this truck can be achieved on on, uh, on any of them on any on any whether it be dodge chevy or ford i can't or, speak for the fords and the Do uh, fords and the chevys but for the dodge guys i can speak for if you do this thing right you can get your mileage out of it and keeping the crankcase filter clean um, makes a huge difference what what uh what oil do you run in this I run a Rotellus fully synthetic. Um, I found out 15W40. The, the 15W40, the T6. The other thing that really surprised me on this truck was the temps that Mikey said he gets out of it. The temps on when you're cruising at speed is could be between 400 to 600 degrees. If you're fully towing, you may get six to 700 degrees, and that is it due to the silver bullet. Um, the silver bullet does a very good job in keeping temps down. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Neat. Here's your your shooting studs. This truck has been studded. Mm -hmm. How do you like this AF AFE? I do like the AFE intake. Um, air intake. Air intake. Uh, that's a dry filter. I do have the wet filters also. What's the difference, you ask? Well, one's wet and one's dry. That's the factory. Uh, that's the factory filter. Filter housing. That's been. It's just so. Dormant. It's just the 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 housing. There's nothing in it. It's, yeah, it's just dormant. Yeah. Dormant. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So it still runs fuel through it. You just don't. No, there's no fuel. Oh, it's, it's been bypassed. Oh, it's been bypassed through the air, air dog. Oh, okay. Air dog is directly to the CP3. Directly to it. Okay. And what kind of uh, what kind of horsepower and torque numbers are we talking about? Let's just go through your tuner, and you know tell us tell it's stock and then bump it, us up levels from there. Uh, stock is you know stock and then it goes to 60, uh, 60 plus, 60 plus 80. Uh, so one, this is all horsepower numbers. One one ten. Okay. And then I think it goes to um, one forty. Um, and 200 on tuner. Um, Dave Matthews did the tunes out of Amarillo, Texas. The singer? No. Oh, not the singer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I didn't know we were talking about the band. Okay. No, 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 not the band. Not okay. The band. I always get my, my guys confused. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. And so, uh, um, I believe Dave Matthews did a really good job on for the mileage tunes on this truck. Um, I've ran them pretty much 
from about 80,000 miles to um, we have 190,000 on the truck. So how does that work? You send your your tuner to him and he, he programs we send, it? or We what? send him my VIN number uh -huh. and then they send me the tuner. Okay, that's your insights coming on. Torque. Torque number, okay. Um, your EGTs. T's. Yeah. What's FRP? That's, that's your fuel rail pressure. Oh, okay. Your, next, your, your bottom one is your mileage. Okay. Your your battery. Huh. That, that's your air intake. What your air intake is right now. Going back up here is going to be your boost. Your run time. Exhaust temps. And it's going to be your RPMs. RPMs. Yes, sir. I'll be damn! Look at that. It's even got a gyro in it. Wow. It tells you what side right. you're torquing on. Also, too, this is your fun switch. Oh, fun switch. It's like that uh, Gone in 60 Seconds movie with the, the go-go button or what go -go was it? Button, go -go button. <laughs> uh, all right. So those are your, you got different levels on that. Is it click or? It does turn. You have one, you have zero straight up. Uh -huh. Yeah. One. Two, three, four, and then five. And what's it on right now? We have it on four. Four? Ah, I gotta show you something real fast. So you, yes. got, you got a uh, horn blasters. Right. And you got the, the three trumpet, right? Three trumpet. Do you remember which, which one yours is? The outlaw. The outlaw. mine on uh on the internet well the guy said it fell off a truck I, I don't know if it if it fell off because he unbolted it or if it fell off because it fell off i don't know but i bought mine for 45 bucks and i love it and i love getting people with it as y'all know Kids can hear you coming, coming home, I'm coming right? home a mile, a mile away. They can hear that. You hear that truck coming a mile away. Hear that? The turpski going. This truck is for sale, so if anybody's interested and wants to buy it, what's the cost on it? I don't know. Just contact contact you, Brad. You can contact me, and I will put you in touch with Mikey, whether it be email or telephone. We'll see. But it's a nice truck, and he's sad to see it go. It's sad, but it's got to go. <laughs> he's got a family, and he needs more room is what it boils down to. Yep. Mikey's got lime trees got all kinds of stuff he's my my brother from another mother uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Breed Adventures do me a favor and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit the notification bell so you know when I post new videos I try to do them at least once a week maybe twice a week never done them three times a week but one day I will you can check me out on Instagram at Texas Breed Adventures me and the wife and the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there you know what I say at the end
don't remember. You don't remember? I'll catch you on the flip side, you dang hillbillies. <laughs>